derivation of induced emf derivation of induced emf so from faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the induced emf that is given by the equation e is equal to z d phi f by dt is equal to z phi f by t that is a faraday's law of electromagnetic induction here we have take this equation by equation number 1 here t is the uh, time taken by the conductor to cut the phi f flux lines here t is given by the equation as a t is equal to 1 by 2 into frequency is equal to we know that the equation uh, for speed that is 120 f divided by p so we have a uh, 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 making subject of uh, frequency then it can be equation like this f is equal to p divided by 2 n r divided by 60 60 into 2 that means 120 120 f divided by p that is a speed equation so we have take a frequency as a p by 2 nr divided by 60 now it uh, take as a equation number 2 by substituting equation 2 in equation 1 we get e is equal to z phi f we have replaced this t this t by this uh, equation 2p by 2 nr divided by 60 then it can be uh, getting like z, uh, z phi f p nr divided by 60 2 2 is cancel so we can get this equation number 3 now if the armature conductor are divided into a a parallel path then we can say that equation is like this e is equal to p phi f nr into z divided by 60a we have only divide this equation we have only divide this equation number 3 by here 60 into a okay so the equation is like this e is equal to p phi f nr z divided by 60a we can take as a equation number 4 the value for a a for lap and wave winding uh, there is a dc motor having two types of winding lap winding and wave winding so uh, number of parallel path a for uh, lap winding is 2 uh, for wave winding and p for lap windings so that is a equation we have to take a is equal to 2 for wave winding and a is equal to p for lap winding now the expression number 4 in the compact form we can uh, write like this e is equal to k phi f into omega m here k phi f into omega m so we have replaced this equation by this so in this equation you can see there is a only uh, phi f and this uh, another portion can be replaced by this constant uh, k and omega m okay so we have take as, uh, this equation as a equation number 5 and where omega m is equal to 2 pi nr divided by 60 radian per second so in this equation we have multiply here we have multiply by 2 pi and also divided by 2 pi okay so uh you can see omega m is equal to 2 pi nr divided by 60 okay so uh, the remaining is what k is equal to remaining with uh, is what remaining uh, k is equal to p divided by a then uh, z and here that is 2 pi so we have to write this 2 pi so p z a and 2 pi so that is a, a k okay so in this way we can write the equation e is equal to k phi f into omega m now further 
if the field flux is constant then the induced emf is proportional to the rotor speed and constant of proportionality is known as induced emf or back emf constant so we can write as a uh, the induced emf is represented as a e is equal to kb into omega m we can take as equation number 6 where kb is the induced emf constant or back emf constant kb is equal to back emf constant or induced emf constant so we can take kb is equal to k into phi f you can see here k into phi f we can replace this k into phi f by kb okay kb we can replace kb is equal to k into phi f now we have take that as a equation number 7 where k is the proportionality constant now the field flux is written as a ratio between the field mmf and mutual reluctance we know that in electromagnetics a uh, flux phi f that is equal to nf into if that means a uh, number of ampere ton that means mmf is divided by the reluctance so we can say that in electricity uh, by current is equal to emf divided by resistance so we can write in electromagnetic as a flux is uh, is equal to mmf divided by the uh, reluctance so mmf that is number of tons ampere tons nf into if divided by reluctance rf now this take as a equation number eight where nf is number of tons in field windings if that is a field current rm that is a reluctance of mute, uh, mutual flux path by substituting equation 8 into equation number 7 the emf constant is obtained by kb is equal to k into phi f so we have replaced this phi f by nf if divided by rm and also we can write this equation like this kb is equal to m into if so we have uh, replaced this knf and rm by this m okay so we have take as a equation number nine where m is a mutual inductance between armature and field winding so that is given by m is equal to knf into rm and uh, we have replaced this uh, k uh, by this uh, k is equal to p a z divided by 2 pi so we have replaced this uh, in this uh, equation k is equal to p phi z to a nf into rm we have replaced this from the previous equation only we can take as a equation number 10 now z upon 2a that is number of turns in armature per parallel path and nf that is a field winding turns p by pi factor makes it a fictitious inductance now substituting equation number 9 into equation number 7 the induced emf can be obtained like this e is equal to m if omega m we can take as a equation number 11 so in this way we can get a equation for induced emf now this all this equation we have to uh, discuss in very short uh, uh, method so we have take as a short method of derivation of induced emf so in this uh, we have first take as a e is equal to p phi f nr into z divided uh, by 60 into a that is our first equation then what we have do we have to uh, e is equal to k phi f into omega m we have replaced this equation by this equation and we have take k phi f omega m so we have take as a k is equal to p uh, by a z divided by two, 1 uh, 2 pi 
and also we have take omega m as a 2 pi nr into uh, divide by 60 radian per second then we have to do what e uh, k phi f omega m is replaced by kb back emf constant so here we can write as a e is equal to kb into omega m now here kb is equal to what k phi f volt per radian per second and we have replaced if phi f is equal to mmf divided by reluctance that means nf if divided by rm then kb is equal to what k nf if divided by rm so that means what mif kb is equal to mif so we can write this equation uh, e is equal to kb omega like e is equal to mif into omega m so that is a method of derivation of induced emf in this uh, uh, modeling of dc machine so that is a short matter how we can get uh, the emf equation so here we can get a 4 emf equation you can see e, uh, 4 emf equation now if we uh, see the example related to this topic then the example that is First example, the armature of 6-pole DC machine has a 120 slots, each slot carrying 30 conductors. The armature winding is lap wound and flux developed by each pole is 0.02 Weber. The machine is driven at 1000 RPM. Calculate EMF induced in DC winding. So uh, that is an example for DC machine. Okay, here uh, uh, if we have to solve this example, then first of all we have uh, write down the given data from this example. The pole of the DC machine P is equal to six. Then uh, flux phi that is equal to 0 0.02 Weber. We know that the unit of flux that is Weber. So that's why we can write a 0.02 Weber. Now the machine is driven at 1000 RPM. So speed N is equal to 1000 RPM. Now that is a given data from this uh, example. Now we know that the EMF equation is equal to P phi N in Z. Z Z that is equal to number of conductor of DC machine. So we can know that in the DC machine there is a two uh, con, uh, winding armature winding and field winding and armature having a slots and armature conductor. So number of conductor Z is equal to number of slot and a number of conductor. We know that uh, in the armature uh, having a armature slots. Okay in his periphery and in this armature slots uh, armature winding is placed so if we have to calculate the number of conductor then we have to multiply this number of slot with the number of conductors that can carry in the uh, currents okay so now the number of slot is equal to 120 that is multiplied by 30 conductors so the answer that is 3600 that is a number of conductor of this DC machine now the armature winding is lap wound okay so uh, we have to calculate the number of parallel paths due to the lap windings the number of parallel path a is equal to number of pole is equal to 6 here uh, we can uh, we know that armature have uh, winding having a two windings that is a uh, wave winding and lap winding in case of uh, lap winding, we know that the number of parallel path is equal to number of pole. Okay, but in case of wave winding, uh, the number of parallel path A is equal to 2. Okay, so that is we have to take uh, directly from this example. Uh, okay, now in case of uh, lap winding, A is equal to P is equal to 6. Now, the EMF equation of DC machine is e is equal to p phi and z divided by 60a now if we have to now we have to substitute this uh, values in this example the pole is equal to 6 flux that is 0 0.02 speed that is 1000 and z that is 3600 
divided by 60 into uh, a that is equal to pole that is also we can take 6 okay so uh, if we solve this uh, uh, value by calculators then e is equal to 1 to double zero uh, volt okay so that is a emf that can induce in this uh, dc motor or machine or generator okay so uh, that is a uh, one example of uh, uh, by using the equation of emf uh, in the next section we will discuss the more example related to this topics okay thank you